So if you've made a game and you got to figure out how to get your game to target SDK 28 to get it back onto Google Play here for the November 1st cutoff, I'll show you how to do it in Android Studio. So once you've made a game, I'm, I'm using BuildBox, I'm going to export it for Android. So you go to uh, Android Studio here and you're going to import the project Gradle Eclipse, etc. Gradle! Test. So you'll see see how Wigglyloaf World test here is just a regular folder. You can't open that with Gradle. You need this logo logo here for Android Studio. So you just want to open your folder, find the thing that says Android, highlight that, open that. So so don't open the top folder. Open the very first one that's got the logo. Logo, and that will magically. Do the right thing for us. Uh, there's all these updates. Just, just update. Yes, update. Just take all the updates so that you're updated. And I'm going to show you how to get your uh, your targeted SDK 28. <coughs> In the secret place where they're hiding it. They're hiding it in the secret place, so this simple thing is hard. Yeah. That's how this is. I've got to go up here to the file, uh, project structure. Project structure, okay? You hear me? And then you gotta come down here to modules. See that these are 28 and 28, and then we're gonna go here, and this is where we're gonna change it. So we go to default configuration under modules, to default configuration. The target SDK version on mine is 26, but I've got to choose 28. That's that's where you're getting all the juice, so you can publish back to Google Play. So that's, that's good, but there's still a couple suggestions over here, and I'm going to take them. So over here, there's a couple updates, and I'm going to take those updates just by clicking update. And then I'm going to just, because uh, I don't trust anything, I'm going to come back here to, to, to modules, default configuration. Make sure we're at target 28, and then just hit OK. And then it's going to like do a whole bunch of stuff. So it's gonna grind and grind and grind. It's grinding and it's grinding and it's grinding. It's grinding and it's grinding and it's grinding. Grinding and it's grinding and it's grinding. It grinds and it grinds. So that's um, just like this dirty little machine that grinds games. Okay, so now I'm gonna take everything that we've grinded up and ground it up and ground up and grind up and just grind it now. And I've got to uh, build, well, actually, I've got to generate a signed bundle. I'm going to generate a signed bundle. It's like, it's like gosh, it's crazy, right? So um, I choose the Android app bundle. And I'm going to call this, like, uh, Wiggly World. Wiggly World. Key. Key. All right, that's what I'm gonna call it, and that's that. All right. So, and everything else. All right. Wish me luck. And I'm going to click release. to grind. So now that's time to grind some more. Uh, and Android Studio just grinds your game into something that can be on uh, Google Play. Okay, so now it's done. 
and it's got this uh, right here, this generated sign bundle, app bundle generated successfully from mobile app with one built variant. You've got to open up this arrow and it says locate. So I can click the locate the release. Not to be confused with locate the key file down here. It's locate the release right there. And it says app release AAB and it's all in your folder where you had assigned it earlier anyways. Check out Wiggly Loaf. Wiggly Loaf's my game. I got it updated to 28. SDK target. <laughs> target SDK. How do I don't even know? Wow. So I'm, I'm just learning how to do this. I think it's really, really hard. I work really hard on these games, and the hardest part is keeping them published and keeping them up to date. So hope you can get your game on Target 28 SDK, whatever that means.